biggest game in college football history. I, I say that jokingly, but it's amazing when I looked earlier this week to find the last time you had a pair of 5-0 and Pac-12 teams meet, and you had to go all the way back to 2004. I think it just it kind of tells us a lot as to why the conference has been as down as it has been, that you haven't had this October meeting or later of 5-0 and teams in, in nearly 20 years. But ducks and dogs this week in Seattle. Uh, I, I would lean towards taking the, uh, the the points with Oregon, and I'm sure – you would as well, but before we get to Sammy and Will, I want your yeah. uh, your th- your thoughts on this one. Um, so, for those who don't know, we hate each other. Like this is a legit rivalry of hatred between Washington and Oregon. I think people assume that our rivals are Oregon State and Washington, and they are. But there's a legit hatred of the fan bases and the players and whatnot. Like I'm four and zero against Washington. I take a lot of pride and never have to slide that Washington. in. Yeah, slide that in. Um, here's the deal, guys. We know that these are two outstanding offenses, right? But there's one team that has the better defense that's more physical on the offense defense lines that is able to commit less penalties. Washington, by the way, is 132nd in the country in penalty yards per game. And that team is, is Oregon, right? The team is, is more deep. They're more talented. doesn't mean they win the game, right? But the, the, the team that has the better defense in a game like this typically is the one that comes out ahead. And my, my, what I've said for the entire year for the PAC 12 is which defense is the best one is going to win the conference. Right. And right now on paper, at least, Oregon's the best defense that has a quarterback that's healthy. You know, Utah doesn't have a quarterback that's healthy. But this game comes down to which team, again, on defense, can get three to four stops. That's it. Three to four stops. You're not holding Washington to, to, to you know, to, to 17 points. But can you can you get two punts, a turnover, and, and turn a touchdown to a field goal? That's all this game is. Can Washington do the same? Washington's run defense is not good. They're 95th on third down success. Their havoc rate is, is one of those, is in the 70s for Washington. So Oregon's the better team. Doesn't mean they're going to win, but I side with the team that has the better defense, commits less penalties, and just has more depth and is able to score the ball like Oregon can. So I'm taking Oregon here plus the three. I mean, no surprise, I think, obviously, here. But that's my my thoughts on this uh, big game this weekend. I know, I know, I know. Will, Will, or you, I, you, can, you definitely look like you got something to say there. Sammy's um, got a big I, old I, grin on his face, too. I think it's a pretty simple handicap. Can or can Oregon get pressure? If you, they can get pressure, they can disrupt Washington. If they don't, it's going to be a long day with that you know the quarterback and those receivers. That those guys are obviously are really good. So uh, the market has kind of told you what they think about this game. Where it's gotten to three and a half, and it quickly goes to three. It's gotten to two and a half, and it quickly goes right back up to three. So. You know, I would take the three. I think this is another situation where live betting might be better, where, hey, you're probably going to get plus three and a half at some point in this game. If you like Oregon, you probably get that hook, and you could easily see this game landing on a field goal. But uh, give me Oregon. I think they'll be able to disrupt Penix. I think, like Jeff said, I, I do think they're the better team. I think Oregon wins the game. When Jeff says we, I'm trying to figure out who he says. Like, who's we, right? You still play for the team, Jeff, or what? Um, uh, yeah, Sharp yeah, money yeah. came under. 4-0 against Sharp- Washington. Right. I heard that. I feel like uh, sharp money came under, which is a little surprising here. I mean, bear, we think about these two quarterbacks and we think, you know, big plays, explosions, fireworks, but big money came under 67 and a half and under 67. And I feel like both of these offenses are good enough to sort of set tempo and, and clearly two of the Heisman contenders. And, you know, we look at the Heisman betting board right now and Michael Penix is the odds on favorite Whoever wins this game is likely going to be on top of the board. So I'm not going to bet Washington. I've got Penix 7-1, 8-1 to win the Heisman. I, I hope that they win, but this is sort of that buy low spot. Rather than take Oregon Bear, I don't think it's a bad bet to just take Bo Nix to win the Heisman if you think the Ducks can win this game. And clearly the market says the Ducks can win. I'm not going to say we, 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 but this is a good spot for Oregon here. They have a better defense. I, I want to watch like 40 to 37, though, like, I want a good offensive shootout. Yeah. I, you, you're, go ahead. You, you mentioned Bo Nix. I will say the thing that I am terrified in this game of is Bo Nix. Like, they're, like, they're, like, I'm not worried about the defense. Again, I think the defense will be able to get enough stops, not shut them out, but enough stops. But road Bo Nix is absolutely yep, terrifying. I don't care if it's an Auburn uniform or an Oregon uniform. He has not played as well on the road as he has at home. If they run the football – and they're able to win first and second downs and keep third down short. That's what has hampered Washington's defense is not being able to get stops early in, you know, in, in a possession and third down is shorter Then I trust Bo Nix more, but in a game where we're getting to third and longs, buddy, I, who that he, he, he terrifies me more than anything else in this football game is what we get from Bo Nix. 
Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.